Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girlfriend and we'll back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. So, today I'm going to be reacting to this scene, Mary, in your entire life. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. <laughs> Arrogance. Arrogance is a problem that many people suffer from. But there's also another problem. And that problem is that many people don't even know what exactly arrogance is. At some time points, we find people characterizing actions of some people as arrogance. But in reality, when we look at the prophetic definition of what arrogance is, we find that it doesn't actually fall within arrogance. Sometimes, Actually, confidence is recognized by people or it's assumed by people as arrogance, but in reality, confidence is not arrogance. So we have to distinguish between the colloquial definition, so to speak, of arrogance, between the customary definition of arrogance and the definition that the Prophet ﷺ gave to us of arrogance. Arrogance is a big problem. I'll get to the definition in a minute. What exactly is the problem with arrogance? The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, لا يدخل الجنة The person who has a slight bit of arrogance within his heart, he will not enter Jannah. The person who has a mustard seed's worth of arrogance within his heart, that person will not be able to enter Jannah. Now, obviously, the Sahaba, they also had their local definition of the word kibr in their language. And in the Quran, the word kibriya comes and also kibr and both of them mean arrogance. Each one of them has a slightly different meaning, but both of them mean arrogance. Now, the Sahaba, they had a concept of arrogance within their minds. And that's why immediately some of them, they said that, إِنَّ الرَّجُلَ يُحِبُّ أَنْ يَكُونَ ثَوْبُهُ حَسَنًا a man wishes for his clothes to be nice. A man wishes for his shoes to be nice as well. A man wishes for his... Now, nowadays, a man wishes for lots of things to be nice. So the Prophet ﷺ, he said, that is not arrogance. He said, إِنَّ اللَّهَ جَمِيلٌ يُحِبُّ الْجَمَالِ Allah is beautiful and Allah also loves beauty as well. So beautifying yourself is not part of arrogance. Confidence is not part of arrogance. Being assertive in your tone and language is not part of arrogance. All of these things are good qualities that are qualities of chivalry and, and, and manliness and also womanliness as well within the capacity of women, within the type of traits which are suitable for women. But what is arrogance then? The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Al-Kibaru, Al-Kibaru, Batharu Al-Haqqi wa Ghamtu nas Arrogance happens to be rejecting the truth and disdaining and looking down upon people. So true arrogance is that a person ends up rejecting the truth, looking away from the truth. Truth has come before him has become manifest before him, has become evident before him. He recognizes that he's wrong. The proof is clearly there, but the person and his ego stops him and puts a barrier between him and the truth. And the person chooses falsehood over truth. That is the prophetic definition of arrogance. Similarly, another part of the definition of arrogance is that a person begins to look down upon people, disdain people, look at people in ways that he feels like he is greater, looks at them in a pompous, pretentious way as if he is greater and they are lower. Although the reality is that when a person begins to try to act like he is greater, the Prophet ﷺ, he told us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Al Izzu Izari wal Kibriya Uridai. فَمَنْ نَازَعَنِي أَحَدَهُمَا أَدْخَلْتُهُ النَّارِ That might happens to be one garment of mine and pride happens to be the other garment of mine. If anyone tries to take one of them for me, I enter him into hellfire. So if a person actually tries to act like he's greater than the khalq of Allah, the creation of Allah, he disdains the creation of Allah. The Messenger ﷺ said, 
It is enough for a person to be evil that he simply looks down upon his fellow Muslim brother. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to recognize our station by recognizing Allah's greatness. Very interesting video. What people don't realize is sometimes arrogance affects us. Not sometimes, all the time. Arrogance is going to always affect you in ways that are imaginable, unimaginable. There's things that you think you think you're doing right by not recognizing your wrongs, but you're just harming yourself because that that will be um, the thing that brings you down. Don't be so consumed with yourself, so con consumed with this arrogance that. You can't even consider other people. A big shout out to people out there that can actually say, you know what, I was wrong for saying this, I was wrong for doing this. I think my actions affected other people around me. If someone can do that, then they can achieve so many things in life. They can even they can they can even draw themselves closer to God because they know that they can't be perfect in life. They know that sometimes they hate people, hurt people, sometimes they do all sorts of things. By recognizing your wrongs, already that's maturity and already you're, learn, you're going to learn from that. But then if you're always going to say, I'm never wrong. What I did was justifiable to me. What? It doesn't make sense. Sometimes you have to humble yourself to see things with a clear eye. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.